Hello ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to this uh, small introduction of a study program. I'm really happy that you clicked this uh, video because I would like to introduce to you the study program in international economics and finance that is offered by the Faculty of Management and Economics of Otto von Guericke University in Magdeburg. First thing that I have to say is that this is a consecutive uh, master uh, program in our international study programs. So every lecture is in English and we need your bachelor uh, knowledge uh, to be successful in our program. Typically, and we do the same thing in Magdeburg, we have four semesters for a master program and we have some lectures. And we have a master thesis at the end of the program. So in the fourth semester you, are, you write a master thesis. And you can earn credit points. Credit points, CP, are nearly equally distributed. It's not a must, but typically it is. 30 credit points per semester. Um, so from the examination regulation in our study program, you are free to choose this or that lecture. But I would like to make a proposal to you. So first thing is that you should start with some methods. Methods mean we first of all need math. Uh, math because our faculty is microeconomic based, it is quantitative oriented and we need a lot of um, econometrics in our, in our study program. So you should be familiar with the basic issues in math. Second thing is econometrics. Econometrics is very, very important because in both, in management and in economics, we use um, econometrics methods um, to find some relationships, uh, to get uh, results, to see what is happening in practice, what are the empirical um, results. Next thing is micro. Microeconomics is, of course, the basis of, um, of our study program. In macroeconomics, you know, you know that there are microeconomic applications. In finance, for example, you know that there are microeconomic um, um, applications. We in Magdeburg, we believe that micro um, is a basis for both economics and management. Then we have stochastic processes. Um, especially in finance, but also in economics, you know that um, risk of the under of, of, of contracts and risk um, is taken into consideration by using a stochastic um, process to model um, what can happen to model the uncertainty. And I would suggest that also at that point in time you start with a finance lecture. And the finance lecture is about option pricing. So we can start with derivatives at that point in time um, and we need a stochastic process to, uh, to do so. In the second semester and in the third semester you should join a seminar. This is maybe a more general seminar and this is maybe a, gem a seminar in economics, also in applied economics or maybe in um, applied finance. It depends on your specialization. We have international trade also in, this, in the second semester and financial econometrics in, in the second semester. So financial econometrics is based of course on econometrics but has a special finance uh, a focus, so we'll talk about what happens at the capital market, and what, what about the price movement, can we say or can we have probabilities that prices go up and down and things um, like that. And then the second lecture in finance, in core finance, is corporate finance. In corporate finance we talk about the valuation of the company, we talk about cost of equity, cost of debt and um, so on. And here additionally you can choose something what is called an elective, an elective course. In the third semester we have international finance. So in international finance we talk for example about cost currency rates uh, and what does it mean um, for the companies. I would suggest that you also have macro. Macroeconomics is as well as important as microeconomics, um, you all know. And we have risk controlling in the third semester as the finance um, lecture. And I would suggest that additionally 
you also have a lecture about behavioral finance in that semester. Behavioral finance is very uh, modern today, so we talk about um, are the market participants um, rational, do they behave rational, or are there some structures in, in price movements as well. So the whole thing is um, related. We have, uh, we have methods here, math, for example, econometrics, we can also find, can also interpret microeconomics or stochastic processes as the basis of what we are doing in the, in, in the further semesters. We have a big program in finance and this big program in finance is related to macroeconomic analysis with also a finance um, focus. So that makes you able to, in the, sec in the third, I'm sorry, in the fourth semester, to write your master's thesis. So this is an overview about the International Economics and Finance Program um, and I would be happy to find your application next time. Thanks a lot.